Alright, this is Sir Tap Tap. We're gonna take a look at a game called The Guardian. Um, you might notice we've got major speed up here. Um, the description of this game calls it a short game. That is kind of true and kind of not true. It is true in the bad kind of way, and it is not true in also the bad kind of way. Um, there's little content to it, but it takes an incredibly long time to get through the content, so... That is why I trash the original audio to this, because it took like half an hour to do the frickin' thing. There is not remotely near a half hour worth of content in this game, to the point that I was about to just delete the entire Let's Play, um, which is pretty extreme set for me. Um, so yeah, this is a game where you're a little boy who doesn't quite fit in this town, and so you go into the woods and you meet an eerie, familiar giant. And you go and say hi to him. And visually, the game looks pretty good for, you know, super minimalist, pixely kind of stuff. Um, the music's pretty decent. Um, the music's public domain stuff from Kevin MacLeod. Or, um, royalty free, whatever crap he releases. You know, whatever you call that. I think it's royalty free. So, um, it fits really well with the game. Um, not their original work, of course but um, royalty free so they're free to use it. Um, it fits with the night the, the music fits well with the game. It was a good choice. Um, the story of the game's all right. It's fairly basic, but it would have been a good way to waste five, ten minutes. In reality, what you end up with is a game that walk you move really, really slow and you repetitively go through the same map like four or five times for really no reason. Um, maybe a single backtracking segment each way would have been okay. Um, and the movement speed could have been boosted up and it would have been alright. But as is, what you got was just this game where you could feel that, yeah, the game's supposed to have this sort of slow feel to it, but it just went way too far. Um, it could have been like, honestly, if they had sped up everything in double time, the game would have been, for the most part, pretty fine. Um, just boost the movement speed, boost the text scroll speed. Um, there was no way to speed up the text either. And then there were certain moments where the game just stops, and you don't real, you don't think, well, you don't really know what to do. Um, the game is just usually just dramatically pausing unnecessarily for like 30 seconds at a time. And, like, if it stopped for, like, five seconds, it would have been a dramatic pause. But it's just completely unnecessary and makes it look like the game is just, like, frozen or something. Like, this, right here. This was a really long time. And... Yeah, the game's really basic. And not really in a bad way, but the slowness and the repetitiveness combined with that basicness to make it bad. Like, this is a really good example of a, an okay idea. I honestly wouldn't say a great idea, but I mean, it was an okay idea. Um, visually, it's executed fairly well, you know, it's got the minimalist, pixely style that not everybody likes, but I mean, through very few pixels, they expressed something pretty cool visually, in my opinion. Um, and I mean, you could feel the desolateness and, you know, that feeling for sure. But they just laid it on thicker than butter, and it was completely unnecessary. I'm sorry. You move really, really slow. And so, story of this game is basically, this boy is all different from everyone else. And then, so he goes out and wanders out, and he finds his giant friend. And then he has some fun with his giant friend. And then one day, the villagers follow him back, and they find his giant friend, and they freak out. So then the boy tries to go talk to the villagers, but then the villagers hurt him. Then he runs back to his giant friend, and then he dies in the giant friend's hand. And then the giant friend goes all angry, and eventually destroys the city. But as you can see, this is my second trip back after like two trips f backward and then a couple of trips feeding the giant like everything was repeated more than necessary and then 
Um, at the end here, like, see, even even it's at four times sped up. It's still kind of a little slow. So he's wounded here. He goes to meet the giant. And then the giant says, oh, hi, and then he disappears, which it's actually kind of neat because you can kind of tell what's going on, even though there's incredibly minimal representation of what's, you know, minimal graphic representation of anything. Um, so then the giant gets up and he's angry and he smashes stuff. And remember, this is four times sped up. The giant moves incredibly slowly. Um, and like him moving that way for like 30 seconds would have really given you the impression that oh hey he's really slow he's a really big guy and he's really dangerous and stuff and that's cool um but in reality this segment took like 10 minutes or something and it seriously is just holding right where while well, this guy walks slower than molasses going uphill um and i'm sorry i usually don't like to trash games that i don't like but i mean this took me half an hour, and I mean, the original commentary was just... See, I, I started pausing and skipping stuff just because there was so little to talk about. And so, he's almost to the town now. It just takes so long, and it was so completely unnecessary. So now, finally, you get to actually do stuff. This is like the most exciting part of the game, so enjoy it. See, they threw a rock at me, then I squished them. It... Initially, I was thinking it was a good idea, executed not so great. By the end, it was just executed really poorly. And then it just ends like that. There's a second ending, but it requires playing through the game again. That's that's not happening. So yeah, and then you just walk forever. The game doesn't like kill it or anything. Ugh.